was good youtube it's y'all boy char here man i'm back with another video for y'all boys man make sure y'all stay in tune the whole time video got for today and let's get straight to it i'm gonna put it like this once you know about the journey once you know about some intention no fat there's no going back once you actually start to lock in with yourself once you actually start to be on your journey for real once you start to build up your street there's no going back to the old person that you used to be prior to you being on the journey it's like it's like you accepting like the red pill once you accept the red pill of life in general you cannot go back to being blue pill like the things that you knew prior to being on the journey and you find out the truth about certain things, the truth about like yourself, about how this reality actually work. It's like, it's like when you be on the journey, you cannot go back to your old self. The old you will have to be sacrificed in a way as, you know, the stuff that you was doing back in the day, you know, those old habits those old people that you was around, those habits of people were not good for you. You know that, <laughs> you knew that the path that you were on before finding God, before finding about the journey, you know that the path that you was on was not, was not like the path that you're on right now. You probably found a sense of direction. You probably found a path for yourself ever since being on the journey. Like ever since of you being on the journey, you probably set realistic goals for yourself. You probably set like a long-term or short-term goals. It's like you got a vision for yourself. You see a future for yourself. And prior to you being on the journey, I know prior, I, I know for me, prior to me being on the journey, I really didn't have no vision. I really didn't have no real direction of what I want to go in life is like the old habits I had, like the old things I was doing back in the day. It's like I'm aware of that stuff now. I'm aware, like I'm actually conscious of when I do relapse now versus when I wasn't on a journey when I was busting nuts. It's like when I do relapse now, I'm not saying I'm not planning to, but I'm saying if I do relax now, I'm saying that I'm gonna be more conscious about it. I'm gonna be more aware about it because I know the real truth about about all that stuff about about your about your sexual power, about a relapse in general. I know the deep truth is that I know the real the real information about those things and. Once you start to accept the truth, once you start to know the truth, figure out the truth for real, you would not want to go back to your old self, the old version of you that was always drained, that was like like attached to these bad habits, that was stuck living for instant gratification. You cannot go back to that lifestyle because you know that that lifestyle that you was in was not good for you for real. And you know that like, like, how can I avoid this? Like, how, I want to say bad, but let's say, like, you in a constant cycle are relapsing over and over again, and you cannot get over a hump. What I'm saying is that you know the truth. You know, like, you know the real about some intention and how you do life now to the fact that even though you can't get past that certain hump that certain amount of days that you want to reach it's going to be better than you just completely quitting the journey and just going back to your old self when satan probably had full possession of you but but you but you knowing about the information is like you will want to pray or meditate to god you want to repent on your words on the things that you did so you can actually gain wisdom, gain that strength 
to learn from those experiences to get you over that hump instead of you just giving up and and just surrendering to life, surrendering to Satan and just and just not connecting with God anymore, not connecting with yourself anymore because you know that when you didn't know yourself, when you when you wasn't on the higher frequency, when you wasn't on your higher self, you was controlled by these people opinions, these people influences was influence you, was dictating how you move as an individual. And and once you know about the journey, you cannot go back to always cooming. You cannot always go back to always being your lust because you know that always cooming, always being your lust is not good for you. It's not good for your soul. So so rather than you just giving up completely on the journey, you will want to keep going, keep going in a way as if you do keep relapsing, you're going to keep going because you know that as long as you put in the effort, as long as you trying, it's better than you just not trying at all and just constantly remaining stagnant and and you not putting in any work. It's like this is for anybody that's going through a hard time on no fat or semi tension. Just keep going, bro. Keep transmuting because because you would rather want to keep transmuting and keep going, keep trying than just rather you going back to your old self completely that you know that your old self, the things that you was doing in the past was no good for you. You know that you know that you wasn't really getting closer with God the most high. You know that the things that you was doing in the past, you was probably a simp, bro. You was probably weak, bro. You was probably a B I T C H like like it's like it's like now I'm on a journey. Let's say let's say if I do start to struggle on a journey. I'm not gonna be playing our victim and just gonna give up, give up, and just gonna give up completely because, nah, the journey is a part of me now. The journey is something that I'm gonna be doing for the rest of my life. Semi intention is me. Semi intention is a part of me. So, like, let's say if I do start to struggle bad on the journey, I'm not gonna give up because I know that the journey has brought me closer to God. The journey has got me closer to myself. Like the benefits I'm seeing on the journey so far is is worth it to keep doing it forever. The, the stuff that I was experiencing prior to me being on the journey, I know that I know that going back to my old life is not worth me quitting being on some attention, me being on no fat. I know that I'm gonna do this forever for the rest of my life even when i do get wife too <laughs> i'm gonna still be doing this and she gotta be aware of it too she gotta be on the same type time that i'm on well it's, it's not gonna work for real y'all get where i'm coming from so it's like once you know about the journey you cannot go back to your old self because it's like you more conscious you more aware of those things that you wasn't Prior to you being on the journey in the past, in the past, you thought that, oh, nothing's, oh, nothing's happening. It was all cool. I just bust a nut. It's nothing's happening. But now, <laughs> now, let's say, if you do bust a nut on the journey, you're going to feel that more. That's going to be felt more because you know that, dang, like, I lost my energy, bro. My energy's rage just, just went downhill. My energy, like, <laughs> you know, you know the truth you know how powerful your sexual power is for real and you know that you, you're not just gonna be giving your sexual attention to girls that don't really care about you for real that's not truly interested in you now i'm at a point where i entertain the girls that like me for real I'm not gonna be chasing anymore. Cause chasing, that's not like, that's not a man for real. Like that's not being a man for real. You're not supposed to be chasing after all your chicks. Like 
that just me though. Like I don't feel like that's not you being your masculine frame. You being your masculine frame is talking to a girl that actually interested in you. You get where I'm coming from? So it's like you're going to be more aware to these things now since you're on a journey. You're going to be more aware of when you're about to relapse when you're in a situation where your your seat is, is on the line, your street is on the line. You know to react a certain type of way. You know that you're not going to be just just easy anymore. You're not just you're not just gonna be giving your sexual power to anybody. It's like she gotta be worth it. She got to earn it now. That's where I'm at. It's like I'm not just gonna be giving up my sexual power just because you look good. Like that don't mean anything. Like you, it's like you can look good, but on the inside, like the inside don't match your outside. Like your beautiful face don't match your inside. Your your inside is. It's terrible, but like the outside is pretty though, but you're not finna be fooling me, but but the old me, the old me, probably, probably me be on a journey. I wouldn't even care about the inside. All I was saying is that, oh, she look good. She look pretty. I gotta get on that. I gotta get on that. <laughs> but now, but now, what's your mindset like? Like, what's your, what's your internal world like? Like, if you want some BS on that perspective, on that aspect, I'm sorry, you can't, you can't get this for real. You can't. I'm not giving my attention, my sexual power to you. You feel me? You get me? So I'm gonna end this video up right here. If you got to this point, I'm gonna say I love you, bro. Keep doing you. Keep shy. Keep sending. And if you're new, make sure you hit that like button. Especially hit the like button. Drop a comment and. Share this message out to somebody that would get inspired by this banger right here. This is a banger. We dropping bangers on top of bangers. You feel me? You get me? So, till next video, I love y'all, man. Let's get it.